really neat little finger picking thing that somebody does on Bob Dylan's recording of a great tune, Just Like a Woman, from 1966, Blonde on Blonde. Um, the, one of Bob's most performed songs by himself, plays it almost every night, well, and plays it differently every night, which is typical of Bob, except that he never plays it like that, because that wasn't what, he didn't play that. I hate to bring that up, but um, if Bob was even playing on the studio recording, he was maybe capo at the fourth fret playing chords in the key of C, mm. but he had a he had a pile of uh, at least at least three studio guitar studio musicians playing guitar on most of the album. So um, as I've thought about doing a lesson on this, I thought oh, maybe we should just do one of Bob's many live versions, and I might get to that. But that's all of that has sort of delayed me getting to it at all. So I finally thought no, let's just do it the way it is on the studio album with these arpeggios in the key of E. So I put together tab for it and a chord chart and everything that talks about all the parts. There are just a couple of parts. There's a short little introduction. Um, I think I just, I just pretty much played the intro and then kind of it's, this, it's the first couple lines of the verse. And there's a classic fill. <laughs> that happens at the end of each verse. So we will uh, of course take a look at that. It's in the tab too. Uh, anyway, coming up, a look at Just Like a Woman. The right hand is going to be just doing straight arpeggios with your thumb playing a bass note. We're in 6-8 time, following usually a just a little a six note pattern, going from your thumb to your index to your middle to your ring, back to the middle and back to the first. Sometimes we'll just have half of it. Sometimes your thumb might move up to here for like the little sus4 thing that happens on the E chord. And um, then we, when we get to like the bar chords and stuff, like the Bs, same thing, you're just going to keep, keep that going. Now, I, as I mentioned in the last segment, we have, this is kind of a combination of different parts. So there are times we would break that pattern up. And I'm, right there I was going with pinches and individual notes kind of rolling back towards the thumb rather than forwards, you know, meaning from high to low rather than low to high. Most of it we have would be low to high arpeggios. But on the B7 sus4 we're going to have the pinches. And these three fingers will move to the second, third, and fourth strings, this shifted position that we sometimes use on the... Uh, in, in. Now the other thing is, you could really play this just with any random arpeggio. So I'll talk about that a little bit more as as the lesson develops. But but you really can do anything you want down here. Um, but using the, the tablature as kind of a guide to get at least rolling would be a good idea. With this one, I'd just as soon start with the tablature rather than the chart or the words or anything else. The chart is uh, the the tablature has got all the chord names and how to play them. So let's just uh, take a look at that. The introduction, I already talked a little bit about the intro, we've got the small arpeggios, meaning in the intro all we do is play the uh, the top four strings. So we've got our little six beat arpeggio on an E chord. Millions of songs go like that. Hopefully you've already been able, you've done that in lots of other songs. Uh, as I talked about in the chord section, when we go to the A, minimal movement with the left hand. Just slide your first finger up. And then move your first finger back, and be sure to move those fingers one at a time so that you don't cut off the third note of the A. Better for it to sound like this. Let that note sustain a little bit by not letting go of your third finger before you've hit, before your first finger has moved to the D sharp. As opposed to. So, um, that's what we have in the first, the, you know, the, the introduction really sets up the pattern that's going to happen throughout the song. 
the third and fourth measures are just little are just straight through the E chord. Mm -hmm. 